Well, good morning, YouTube. How are you guys doing today? Today is April 7th, 2018, and it marks my eight-month surgery. So eight months ago today, I had the vertical sleeve gastrectomy done in LaGrange, Georgia at Wellstar Medical Center with Dr. Wesley Turton. My overall heaviest weight was 400 pounds. My date of surgery weight was 275. My current weight as of this morning, 217. So freaking happy that I made it back to my weight that I was last month. But we shall keep moving, right? I weighed in yesterday at 217.8, so I lost 0.8 pounds overnight. Thrilled. I just left Planet Fitness. I do a six-day stretch, so tomorrow it will be my rest day. Um, I work out fasted every single day. I go to the gym before I go to work. Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I do the C to 5K. Tuesdays and Thursdays, I do strength training, full body workouts. And on Saturdays, I'm a part of the 30-minute stair master gang. Wow. So, I keep very busy and I've been committed to this routine for three weeks now. Next week will be week four of the C to 5K. It's an eight-week stretch and I'm going to be committed to it throughout this duration to see exactly how it challenges my body and see how I go through it. On other notes, um, my diet has been apparently good because I've dropped my weight from my highest. Um, when I came back from Florida, I jumped up 10 pounds with stress and everything. I gained 10 pounds in a month. I lost it hmm. within about two weeks. Which, why can't I do that normally, right? Anyway, I'm sitting in the car waiting for my husband. He went to go donate plasma, so I finished my workout. Planet Fitness is in the same plaza, yada, yada. Anyway, it's raining outside. So, um, my eating has been fairly good. Um, I would say I've been sticking to low carb pretty much. You know, I've been having my little snacks in between, you know, whether it's popcorn or a half a PB&J or a half an egg salad or whatever. But... I've been doing my research also with carb cycling because um, doing keto for, you know, off and on, you know, having a carb up or keeping my carbs under 50, it's pretty good. You know, I'm not complaining about it, but the days that I lift, I notice that I get ravenously hungry. But I also can't force myself to eat too much food because obviously I'm a VSG surgery patient and I don't have the stomach capacity to eat that much. Then I was also looking in OMAD, one meal a day. I've been looking into dry fasting. I've been looking into all different kinds of things, you know, to switch my body up because, you know, I know how my body works. I've been living in this thing for 39 years. I know what works and what doesn't work. And variety is what works for me. Yeah, you might say it's a fad, I'm jumping in and out, I'm doing this, this, that, and a third. But it's what's got me to where I am so far. So, I'll play around with my diet and my eating habits and see what works. And I'll keep you guys updated. Other than that, um, I'm getting used to my 1 to 10 shift. I'm sorry. 1 to 10 shift at night, working at Home Depot. So, when my husband comes home for lunch... And when he, I drop him back off, and when I drop it, when I drop him back off, I go immediately to the gym, straight from home, to the gym, then to work. Oh, go home, change, and then go to work. Um, I've been making it a habit um, to fill up my water bottle on my Brita water filter. It holds 22 ounces of water. I've been making it um, like the past week. To finish this during my workout while I'm there to make sure I get my fluids in. I take my pre-workout in the morning, um, which I'm about to, ch I'm almost done with that. I'll probably have like another day or so of that. And I'm going to switch from what I have to um, 
Beyond Raw Labs Lit. I'm going to try that one. Give that one a try. I'm also looking into possibly trying some um, Extends BCAAs. I've heard, you know, there's good things about it, you know, post-workout and, you know, during your workout and how it, you know, affects recovery and things like that. I'm going to um, get some more Premier Protein Shakes. Even though I have variety, I want simplicity. I don't want to complicate things. So when I complicate things, it don't ever work out right for me. So I've been thinking, you know, why don't I just have it to where I take my pre-workout in the morning, take my BCAAs during and after my workout, post-workout have a pro coffee, that way I can get my protein in, then figure out what I'm going to have for lunch, because I don't go to lunch until maybe 5, between 5 and 6 o'clock in the evening, which is technically dinner, and I get off of work at 10 o'clock at night. So, I'm pretty much eating one meal a day besides my, you know, protein coffee. Because I don't like to eat late at night, even though sometimes I do, depending on how hungry I am or if I'm just chilling with my husband, watching TV or whatever, you know, on the couch. And that tends to trigger, you know, hunger and things like that. So, um... Yeah, I'm just going to play around with that and see what happens. Um, and that's pretty much about it, guys. Uh, it's a short little update this week. Um, just been sticking, you know, to what to what works. I'm so glad that, you know, when I came back from Florida on the 18th, so that's exactly when I came home. Came home, came home on the 18th, weighed in at 227, here we are on the 7th of April, and I'm 217. So, if I can stick to this, I know I'll reach my goals. My goal is to be 100 pounds down by my one-year surge anniversary, which will be 175 pounds. So, I have 17 more pounds to get to my next weight loss goal, which is 200 pounds. Then after that, 25 more pounds from there. Um, I set my goals in 25 pound increments. So, I'm going to try my damnedest not to self-sabotage myself. Not to binge. Not to let my emotions get control of me. I'm going to try my best to get back on taking my vitamins regularly. Because I haven't been. I take them every so often. Um, I'm going to try my best to just stick to plan. Hold myself accountable post daily on my Instagram page and make sure I reach my goals no matter what. So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for keeping up with me. And I will check you guys on my next update. Until then, y'all have a very blessed day.